Hey, hello, good evening. Uh, today it's Tuesday, the 30th of November, 2021. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, new artwork again. Um, I got my new canvases from 100 by 200 centimeters, and I start right away with the first one. Uh, it isn't finished yet, but I am already busy for uh, three days in a row, uh, the entire evening and even in the middle of the night, you know, so it, it was really, really fun to do. So let's uh, have a look. Uh, here we go. This is the bottom. You see the earth with all its spheres. Uh, someone traveling uh, to the afterlife. Uh, they are attached with a cord to their body and um, that they can return back uh, to earth again. Over here you see some people passing over. And then the afterlife, like a river of the materialistic world, with flowers, temples, uh, two trees, and twin souls going higher. Uh, past the pyramids of Egypt, they really have a beautiful meaning. Uh, but we don't know that yet because that has still to be discovered. And then on top, uh, six not new cosmic degrees. But like I said, I haven't finished it yet. But I'm very happy, I'm very happy. So let's have a look. Uh, today, I wanna talk about uh, some of my books I wrote. So I took some excerpts and I want to talk about that uh, in a bit. Um, as in last time, I showed you guys that I have four of them. Um, and I'm very happy with uh, ordering them. Uh, to read them in a book is totally different than to read uh, from your laptop in a way. So I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, this is the first one and it's called Milestones. Um, and that's my story about my first hospitalization and uh, the first steps into the afterlife, into reincarnation. Um, so I just start. Uh, I forget, okay, let's see. After several days, my parents brought me to a conversation with a doctor. I think it was a psychiatrist, but I'm not sure. After that, I was brought to a hospital close by in Permarent. When I got in my room, I got medication and I fell asleep immediately. Days passed by and I can't re re recall much of that time. I was in the closed section, like I woke up two weeks later. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw images, people, voices, fantasy. I lost it and couldn't think straight anymore. The medicines were really heavy. I had to take multiple medicines and, became, and because of that, I was tired all the time. Like I had to learn everything all over again. My parents visited me every day, thought that wasn't necessary. But years later, I thought it was a good thing they did for me. I was grateful. In my point of view, I didn't do anything wrong. I thought, I thought. In the closed section, I drew about my fantasy stories as if it was my own world. Saw people who weren't there. They were there all the time. And I talked to them. And I enjoyed my conversations with them. That was something normal for me. And I wasn't alone in that way and thought it was nice. Days passed by and I forgot daily what happened that day. I can't remember much. In the end phase of being in the closed section, I got a leaflet about schizophrenia. From the inside, I laughed pretty hard. That couldn't be true. Me? Schizophrenic? I never thought about that. After six weeks, I was released and was allowed to go home. First an afternoon, then a weekend, on the strict condition that I went to another hospital in Amsterdam, AMC. The same hospital I went to before in 2004. They had a special department for psychotic and schizophrenic people. I followed their advice. Most of my fellow patients were of the same age, even younger. In the hospital, I got lessons about symptoms, but didn't understand it well. Eating together, watching the news, gymnastics, wood carving, etc. Like in education, in the evening, I got heavy medicine, but less than in the other hospital. An own room. I did meet some nice people there. Among the tests they gave me were an MRI scan, MRE scan, and ECG. The MRI surprised me. Turned out that my brain shrunk big time while my mind went like a madman for 24-7 on end. They showed me the red areas of the mind in the screen, on the screen of the computer. I think it shrunk like 40%. Some other tests as well. All right, that was the first book, a small piece. Uh, for me, I'm glad that I wrote this piece because back then um, it was, I was reliving it daily. Every time the, the same things occurred in my mind. 
And I really lost it, you know. I have to think about it, and how I was back then, you know, drifting from Amst in Amsterdam from bench to bench, afraid of people, scared all the time, uh, afraid of everyone, you know, losing my own sanity in a way. Like you have your own thoughts, but then it's like that you don't recognize your own thoughts um, and, and, and in the feelings of universal love in a way, you know, that you lost it. That's not good. But other things I did, uh, this is my second book, and this is a poetry bundle um, with small poems about the afterlife, mostly. So here it goes. Shaking hands with future lives. Sometimes you have deep thoughts about things. Who are you? Where do we come from? And where are we going to when passing over? Some are afraid of dying or are heavily in tears when someone passes over. It's not the end, just a small step. Before learning about the new maps we all will get. Some individual, some collective. We all have to make good for past lives. It's not only making good, of course. Our souls will travel high, higher in the spheres of light and will project that inner love on earth. So eventually it will become heaven on earth. The darkest spheres will be closed then and people who live there can't reincarnate to earth again. No more wars and other bad things will ever come to earth again. Family, friends, will all meet again in the afterlife and future reincarnations on earth and beyond, growing higher in the new knowledge of spirituality, new maps and roads for everyone, letting go of time in the labyrinths. Universal love is the highest love there is. All other things are personal or collective feelings from events from past lives. New stories about these past lives will pop up eventually, though are true which you will understand yourself better. Then letting go of these things within the love of God or Whitey. You're moving in between lives, growing higher in universal love. The ocean of love is everywhere. We breathe it. We swim in it. We walk on it. We think and feel it. <clears throat> just a small piece of the beautiful things we'll encounter in the future. It's not just one life you have. You have, you had many lives and you will get many lives on Earth and the afterlife and on new planets eventually. Letting go of past lives, shaking hands with future lives, new visions from the places we'll visit in between. The love from your inner core will mirror itself with the highest spheres of on the earth, earth and the other way around. When bad things happen in life, you can look at it and let go, mostly from a darker past life. You have a choice to change and do other things instead. Don't do bad things, which can appear in society. It is temporarily. The love of God is the biggest there is. Even, in, even if society approves of it, it isn't always the right choice. Reason and maturity, evolving in spirituality, spirituality, Letting go of zeitgeist, your life flows by with all the things you did in your life. Are you satisfied? That's uh, one of the many poems I put in, in this book. Uh, mm, yeah, more than 10, maybe even more than 15. Um, so um, I'm very happy with, uh, with the poetry. And also, back then, when I published it, I saw a documentary from Jim Morrison, from The Doors, and Jim was also a great poet, you know. He, he was a great musician, of course, but he published some um, poetry. And then I thought to myself, okay, you know, this is the last push I need to uh, publish this work. So that's, that's what I did. Uh, the third one, A Pharaoh's Guiding, Psychosis and Reincarnation. Uh, this book is with stories, and I do like them, actually. Um, I combined them all together. And they make a good cohesion. And also uh, poetry, uh, which was received pretty well on CosmoFunnel.com. Uh, even some poetry um, have more than 1,000 views. And some poet poems, two of them, were nominated for a uh, poem of the month. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win, but it was a great honor to, to see that people uh, like my work. So let's have a look. Uh, okay. Moving through time, I saw myself dr drown within fantasy of the world. A scene, how long did it last? Am I participating in a mess we are in? A war deludes you, what is important? Anxiety controls most of the hungry people. A bullet is an easy way out. To shoot another, per shoot another person or commit suicide. What is control? Is it necessary? Doing bad things you have to make good for in future lives. A movie passes by. Darkness, darker than the night. Where am I? Can I understand the situation I'm in, like a nightmare haunting you day after day? Time fades away, soon it, I will be ready. 
and moving up the stairs to higher grounds, looking down in foggy places of the past, I had a good life. I'm satisfied. From there on, love will shine in every future life, letting go of the frames of my camera, black and white shots of another time. Color changes everything. Closer to home, more easy to move in between energies of love. Personality and character makes you feel alive. A good person dying and being reborn again. Remembering for everything he or she did. Great souls will be remembered, even if it takes many lives to understand. Ahead of time. Individual thoughts to create collective thoughts. Lending a hand to, to understand. Being pulled up. Some things had its time in the past. They won't be needed anymore. Looking many steps ahead. Like playing a game of chess. How deep, it con you know, how deep concentrating are you? Is each step a life? Or a thought in many choices you have within one life? A day in a year, a cycle, working on progress, sleeping to understand and to forget, stars shine from the past before you were born, a path we all took. We are all reincarnated souls. Different point of views, don't get lost though. Planets and stars everywhere, invisible paths so close. The gates will open in time with bigger cycles for a better understanding, moving from planet to planet for a long time already, moving from the afterlife to the earth for many, many years without knowing about it. It's our home for now, living between two worlds. I've been around the globe many times, as male and female, on all continents, as a brother and a sister, being reborn time after time again. I think that is beautiful. Why should we kill each other? Why should we discriminate each other? In colors of skin and in male or female divided. Another war on the horizon, a waste of dying. A waste of time, dying again, for what? Being divided where, while we are all the same as a whole, a different opinion, a different religion, a different country. In this life, I'm Dutch. In the afterlife, I'm a person of love, trying to change the ways that we think. Lives will fade away. Thinking about the past, I had many religions throughout my lives, only to notice that most don't talk about reincarnation and traveling with your twin soul to other planets. I fought in many wars, only to notice that it was a waste of time. How can I shake hands with future lives in the love of God, in universal love, I quit with earthly visions, stuck within one life and destroying everything that comes on your path, stardust in front of my eyes, we'll meet again, not being stubborn and in hate to other living creatures, take a step back and look at what you've done in this life, the afterlife is really beautiful and I want to resonate with the highest sphere in love and not in pain and sadness, don't do things you will regret, God is justice as well, time to change big time. Uh, that's my third book. Uh, this is uh, the, the, the first part, actually, with uh, the stories um, I combined. Um, yeah, I like it. and it's, it's great to see that I did something uh, and that I like it, you know, even when it came from such a dark period in my life. To understand what I was thinking and feeling and to learning about God and things like that. I was really lost, you know, I, I was really, really, really that psychotic, day in, day out, terrible, <clears throat> really terrible. And vlogs like this make, make me feel happy and I feel better because of that. So. And to see that people like it, that's also a good thing, of course, because it goes both ways, of course. Uh, then my last book, uh, let me see. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Friday, 20 September 2019. I noticed that I'm projecting fake frames from being delusional on my inner feelings, but also on the outside towards reality. In that way, I'm stuck inside eternity, projecting within fantasies. Different gradations of perceiving these fantasies, losing in time. You need to realize you're always inside universal love. That is the last outcome. Though very difficult to see the difference when being inside fear and anxiety for an eternity. It takes time to get back on track again. I'm having difficulties with that mostly, short term or long term. What is it like to be delusional? For me, it is the other way around. What is it like to be normal? How to feel at ease, how to interact with things, with people, with questions of life, with time, your inner thoughts in different gradations to which you have less space to feel in peace. Thoughts within feelings and frames of fantasy. 
really difficult. Like I said earlier on, it is egoistic to think that God doesn't exist. You're a part of it. You're breathing it, through it. You're dust in the universe. Went to many places already before arriving on Earth. God is energy, to be seen or not to be seen, from feelings and thoughts, to planets and stars. We're all part of it, from the afterlife to its Earth and other planets, to be reborn time after time, moving higher in universal love, new surroundings. God is magnificent. Male and female energies in every aspect of life, from humans, animals and nature, bodies and flesh and blood, being built through energies we can't see. Spiritual evolution is the next chapter will, that will appear on the horizon. From reincarnation to reincarnation. From planet to planet. A blessing forevermore throughout the universe. In a way, you can let go of the turmoil and fantasy. Like I said, the last outcome is always universal love. By letting go and interacting with universal love, you can let go of these fantasies. I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm busy with it for many years already. A new vision is the first step to be relieved. God is real. Don't get it mixed up with fantasies. In that way, you will learn to see and feel God. Having many lives, you can learn from past cycles. There is indeed an invisible world out there. Also invisible are the past, past lives, thoughts and feelings. Experiences through time. Learning that you will come home eventually. Feeling home in your mind, body and soul. Feeling at home in this life, wherever you are. Also looking towards new lives, feeling home on earth and feeling home in the afterlife until the end of your reincarnation cycle. From there on, you will go higher in the spheres of light, planning new journeys ahead in the universe with your twin soul. These are the new basics everyone will learn about in the future. Getting connected with your inner worlds being projected on universal love and energy towards new lives. A new route, not stuck inside eternity, is the best gift you can get. From fantasies and fake designs to a new reality. The afterlife, reincarnation, moving to new planets and the bigger meaning about God. Bliss. Oh, wow. Exactly 17 minutes. <sighs> so that was a bit, um, in a nutshell, what I wrote about. And uh, I have two other books in the planning already. Uh, also from, from the vlogs. The, the vlogs I put online. I write them down, of course. But I'm not sure if I will do that. So... Yeah, please let me know if you think I should, then uh, you can always leave a comment. And if you do like my books and what I was talking about, you can always order them online on Amazon under my own name, Evert Jan Guit. I will put the link, uh, link down below. And every now and then I do put um, small promotions online, but you only have five promotional days within three months. So that, that will appear every now and then. Alrighty, I would say have a really, really great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.